Well, we've got the solar eclipse on Saturday morning. If you're just now joining us, the storm that we saw the last couple of days is moving out. We'll have less clouds as we get closer to the weekend, although we still will have some clouds across the state on Saturday morning. So starts a little after 9 a.m. We'll see that max eclipse here in Salt Lake about 1030 and it will end right around noon. So here's my official cloud cover forecast for Saturday. As we look across the region, we're tracking some clouds. Those are the darker colors that you're seeing here. So for Salt Lake, we are looking at during the 10 o'clock hour on Saturday morning, 57% cloud cover. Of course, the question remains, where in the sky will those clouds be? Will they be thinner clouds where you can still have good viewing experiences? Here's what I want you to know. We are still what, a day and a half away from this event. We'll have clouds in the region. Yes, absolutely. But we're mostly looking at mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. I think it is still going to be a great viewing experience. The higher the percentage, the more clouds in the sky. So looking down into near Arizona, Page, Arizona, 11% cloud cover. That looks really good for the opportunity. But overall, I am not uh, that threatened by the numbers that I'm seeing here. I still think that we're going to have some really great opportunities for the eclipse on a Saturday morning. I 100% think it's going to be worth trying to view that. Now here I want to orient you to what we're about to see. This is the path of totality. Looking from Nevada as that begins to move into Utah, pausing that right over I-15, Leamington down through uh, Beaver. This goes up towards Panguitch, right over Capitol Reef, Escalante, Hanksville, taking you all the way down towards the Four Corners, approaching Albuquerque. So that's the path that we're going to see on Saturday. Partly cloudy sky is the forecast here across Utah, especially less clouds once you get into the southern and central part of the state, which is great because that's that path for the best viewing. And then we've got some really cold temperatures to get through tonight first. So we've got freeze warnings for some portions of Utah. Most of our storm is off to our east. I'm happy the eclipse is Saturday and it wasn't today or yesterday. We'll definitely see less clouds than we had today. Uh, we'll see some passing clouds though on Saturday morning with temperatures first thing tomorrow morning, 30s and 40s here across Utah. So for St. George tomorrow, 74 for a high 80 to 85 this weekend close to 90 on Monday. For Salt Lake, we've got a beautiful fall weekend ahead. Mostly sunny tomorrow, 62, 68 on Saturday, 72 on Sunday. We'll keep you comfortable with beautiful conditions through much of the seven day forecast. We will see a storm passing to our north early next week, so we'll see some additional clouds with that. But generally speaking, temperatures will be in the 40s tonight and also Friday night.